Done. Yeah, I'm just about to brush my teeth and go off to uh, my second sleep, or try to, but we'll see what happens. I've got the music down at, like, ultra low volume. I'm hoping that'll be just enough to kind of keep part of my brain um, doing something, and the rest can uh, focus on something else to fall asleep on. Um, so I'm almost finished. I'm just going to put a few of the... Um, uh, I'm just going to move a few of the chords around. I do, I'm going to say a few things, probably more things than I wanted to. That's why I'm not going to say two things or whatever. Um, the first thing is, is that I noticed uh, 10 supplies. So I'm, it's kind of in a weird way. I was like, oh, no, it's the board game uh, fairy trying to help out the Austro-Hungarians. I was like, no, 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 because I would have saw it eventually anyways, like maybe next turn. So uh, the... The third, and I knew I, there was something niggling about the whole thing, and I'm going to have to check my books just to make sure. But anyways, as far as concern on the master book, uh, third, so I must have misread it or whatever, but uh, the, the third army does have 10 supply points, but I'm just going to check, I'm for sure going to make a check again, because I'm pretty damn sure we did a, a remember an abortive attempt, uh, attack of, over across here, um, like a week earlier or whatever. Secondly, is that I have to do some better record keeping. Um, uh, the, the only uh, thank God that there's kind of like a triple thing going on here. There's the actual board, then I've got my play-by-play um, -play moves, and then I've got the master books for each army. Uh, and I've been a little lazy lately, uh, uh, putting in every single bloody detail in the play-by-play -play book. And sometimes I was like, oh, you're just, you know, you don't need to be doing that anymore, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, now I'm like, you know what, uh, this is another, uh, because I had to use the triple verification system, if you want to call it that, for, okay, that's exactly where you, you should be, kind of thing. I was like, wait a minute, like, you don't belong there. And I was like, okay, you do. So that's it. And I think that's about it. Um, well, you know, I'm super duper ultra uh, glad about this. And I'm off to read... Um, that trench warfare book, which uh, I'm going to have to talk about later. Uh, um, like, I, it's almost like, a, I would say, um, an entire, um, well, a good chunk of a live stream worth. Because there's a, a I'm, I don't know, I'm actually a fair, fair amount into the book. It was ironic. I brought it to work today. And Charles Latour, I've mentioned, uh, uh, made a, see, you know what the other thing is? I don't often wear the straps around my neck like you're supposed to, you complete idiot. Um... Well, it's the whole point in having the straps, man. Uh, anyways, here, I just did it. Um, Charles Satora had, uh, oh shoot, there goes my train of thought, isn't it, eh? Hold on here, hold on here. Damn it, I wanted this video to be quick and not super long. Oh, it was about the book. And uh, Charles Latora, would admit when I uh, showed the Warlords book there with uh, Hindenburg and uh, Ludendorff, and he's like, oh, we want a book report on the next live stream, which would have been last live stream and ironically while i'm reading the book at work today i was like holy cow i'm ever gobbling this thing up because it's just uh well not it's like one revelation after the other about trench warfare and if this guy's right um i'm a starting to connect the dots with me for uh this other for another book that i read was benson uh woodbines and i went holy f uh now some of the anecdotes that that reverend made in that book are making a hell of a lot more sense now because at the time, I was like, oh, it's just a funny little anecdote or whatever. And now I'm like, oh, my God, that's a perfect example of what this guy's talking about, like about his uh, uh, bringing, you know, his point of, uh, point of view across about trench warfare. And I'm like, oh, my God, this are they're unrelated in the sense that like, they're not talking to each other. And I'm like, this guy's, you know, uh, reaffirming what this guy's saying. I was like, oh, my God. That type of stuff. Um, so I'm just gobbling this book up like there's no tomorrow. So that, like I was saying in a weird way, it's kind of like what Charles Latore was saying about, you know, I'll, you know, finish that book up quick. I'm like, well, you're, you may be getting your wish, just not the right book. Uh, but it is, um, uh, and on a further note, uh, I don't know, a little while ago I was watching um, part of uh, Apocalypse Part 1 uh, for uh, the Battle of Urbana. And um, in it... Um, I, just the way they're presenting trench warfare and so on and so forth. I've got a different view of things already. And I was like, um, whoa, what the hell has just happened to me? Uh, that, and I knew, I knew 
when I picked this book up, I went, are you ready for this? It was just one of those, um, I could feel it. Um, not the way I thought it was. I thought it was going to be actually about uh, too much suffering. Um, uh, uh, I'm not saying there's none there, but I, I, that's what I thought it was going to be just primarily. I was like, I don't know if I can deal with an entire book of uh, the nitty gritty suffering of, you know, I was just like, I, you know, come on, man. But no, no, no. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I want to talk about whatever. <laughs> but that book is freaking amazing. Okay. Off and yeah, and supposedly I'm gonna try to what turn my brain off. Give me an effing break, right? See what happens.